white jersey, Stewart cutting in field. An important intervention there coming from Garbisi, but look at the white jerseys. It's three against one out wide, and Jamie George pins his ears back and gets to the try line. Don't worry, put Genj in it fly half, pops the ball over the top, good absorption of the first tackle. <laughs> that ain't a bad finish from the big fella. There they go, the front row unison. Marcus Smith, that should be easy. Oh, it should have been easy, but it's been gifted to Oli Chesham. The ball put down by Marine. Here's Henry Slade, looks inside. Sam Simmons. Marine uh, atoning just a little with the tackle. It is, though, a penalty advantage being played to England. Can they get that scoreboard ticking over again? Max Malins at speed. Kyle Sinclair at less so, but all he had to do was catch it, take a couple of strides and fall over. Chesham, it doesn't go to the floor, so then it's just bide your time again. That's a lovely little pump ball, really, straight through the middle. England making progress, what a good finish it would be to this first half, I think it's score another try. Here's Elliot Daly, Johnny B, can he squeeze in? A hurdling, flying leap from Johnny B. He clears good, but he's there, he's OK, he's OK, he's OK. What a finish. Take a bow, Johnny May. The Italians are inclined to lose composure, run out of ideas as the faces build. Can they create here? No, they can't. They just give the ball away to Anthony Watson. And Gorbisi, with all his pace, is not going to catch the British and Irish Lion, Anthony Watson, who scores his second try. And with it, the bonus point for England. And that is heart-wrenching from an Italian point of view. You can see there was support out there wide. Gorbisi pops it out. And Watson just picks it out. Oh, and through goes Farrell, and Farrell's looking for support, it is there. And what a start to the match. What a way to celebrate your 100th cap. But again, it's the captain that makes the break, and it's the Centurion that scores the try. Okay. <laughs> he won't get much easier than that. Just a couple of minutes remaining. England have been past 50 before in recent times against Italy in the Six Nations, 59-13, it finished back in 2011. And they've just been gifted another, it's a second try. Hayward's charged down, and George Cruz accepts the gift with a smile. He'd be saying this when well, this came from 40 metres, I charged it down, two people to beat, and then I was just under the post. Oh, this is better from Tuolangi. He's being tracked there by Daly on one side, but he doesn't need any help. And I think there, just in that little cameo, he's demonstrated what he's capable of. To the scrum, it has to be a credible feed. Credible is the phrase the referees are using. And May once more, he's been busy popping up in midfield and he's released Anthony Watson again. And off Watson goes, and he's shrugging off Italian tacklers, and he's got that down. What about the acrobatics? Does the right boot head off the table before the ball's touched down? And I have to have another look. This is the angle that'll tell us. Yeah, the grounding's fine. Just watching that white, that right white boot. Ball down, try time. He's not in touch. I agree with Benny. It's a no arms tackle anyway, but it's he's going to get it. Tojo did nicely to find Haskell. That was really smart, and Haskell bursting his way through and pushing that blue line backwards. And Care wants it quickly, which he has. And here goes Laws, England into the 22. That was neat, and Care has it. Teo. Tio knows to give it to the gas man, it's an easy finish from Daly. England are smashing them to bits through the middle. Oh, Joseph! All of it 
to his hard work. All the graft and determination. As the pass is made, almost willing it back there. Didn't know Joseph was there. And it loops up in the air, I think, because he tries to hold on to it at the last millisecond. Straight into Joseph's hands, he won't get an easier score than that. Straight drive, really well set. They're just trying to get those bodies lower at the front. Dylan Hartley working very hard there to keep those blue shirts occupied. In comes Farrell as well. Coles goes past the ball. They've got the penalty. It's a freebie. Murderously difficult to defend against Joseph. That was lovely. Oh my goodness. All about the muscle men. And it's Hartley working at the front. Rob Shaw as well. And then no sweeper in behind. England upping the pressure stakes. Joseph searching for a hat trick and getting a hat trick. Oh. He's got three tries in this second half. Real, real intensity, physical intensity from England. What this is well finished by Joseph. Massively powerful carry. He's got the leg drive. And the white shirts try to respond. Penalty now. And Italy have to be careful. Quickly taken, Youngs, and he is through. Try for England. Quick thinking, quick feet. Try for the scrum half. And Italy, of course, making so many tackles against Ireland last week. Looks like they may have to do the same. Much better from England. Burrell to Brown, and Brown hands off now. Takes on the claim for paces in, and Mike Brown scores his third try of this Six Nations Championship. And that is much more likely from England. You can see Burrell breaking the tackle, getting a good offload. That's number a poor defence from the Italian 13, nine. Campinaro. But more. a great okay. finish by Mike Brown. You play over three, thank you for You can see Johnny May on his shoulder there, thinking, I haven't scored a try for England yet. I quite fancy that, but Mike Brown saw the line. in front of their posts. Can England put some pressure on here? Italy hold firm. Oh, England have won it back. Real opportunity now, comes wide. Johnny May for the line. Into the last three minutes of the game. Big shove from England, and penalty goes England's way. Got to go for it here. 